Hey guys, it's Empress Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do an intuitive reading. Um, I was going to give me some rest, but I had a download. I have a divine masculine that's staying in a marriage. Or he went back to a marriage for the kids. The woman he went back to is nothing but a hoe. He met her while he was in jail. This bitch, this bitch is for the streets. She's a criminal. And she's using him just for his money. And she's using the kids against him for him to stay because she knows he's a good man. She knows he get out there, he either work or go get, he hustles or whatever it is to go get with him. You know what her and the, what the kids and them need. So she's taking advantage. While he's out there working, this bitch is out there fucking. She contracted a disease and she blamed him for it. He says he hasn't been having sex with her in a while and he doesn't have whatever she has. It's real low down, guys. He's very unhappy. She's very upset. Now she's saying she want to um, kill herself or she want to harm herself. She's a crazy bitch. She's very unstable. Okay. Um, Divine Masculine is on to her bullshit and her foolishness. So now he's, he's leaving her. And she knows he's leaving her. And he's wanting to go to his real Divine Feminine. Because this bitch ain't know nothing about her is Divine. She fucking anybody. She was fucking them for whatever she can get out these people. Um, I don't know if she's a sex addict, but Spirit says she had a lot of fucking sex outside the marriage. She went to him and told him she wants to reconcile and do right, do right by the kids, but this bitch is foul. She did never stop fucking different people. She never stopped being a hoe. She just never stopped with all the manipulation and the fuckery. Okay. And somehow, some way, he's on to her. So he decided to leave her. So she's mad. She's upset. This shit's crazy, guys. I'm trying to light my sage. I'm going to say this. You should never stay for the children. I said that in a lot of my videos. I think it's the stupidest shit. And I don't give a damn who toes I'm stepping on. Because when you stay for just the kids, if you unhappy, those kids are going to fucking see that you're unhappy. And then if you're unhappy and you're not whole, guess what them kids is going to feel? Them kids is going to feel that shit, man. I think my camera, okay. Them kids is going to feel that shit. And they're going to feel like, well, damn. You know, my dad or my mom is always unhappy. They're going to figure everything out. These kids are smarter than what you think they are. Spirit says she sell drugs. She do whatever. She fuck young boys. She do whatever these little young boys want her to do. This is some fucked up shit, guys. She has an older husband. She's middle age. She's not a good mother. She don't take care of the kids. She never been a mother. She have all these, and, and she have grown kids that come in and um, still want to stay with her. She don't try to uh, make them better themselves. <laughs> she like aid in the bed, these grown folk. It's some crazy shit. He tries to tell her different. She don't want to know different. She want to stay stuck in the same energy. Be lack mentality. She ain't up with a welfare hoe. And ain't nothing wrong with welfare, guys. But I, like I said, I'm just saying it as it come out. I don't mean to step on nobody's toes. But because he's leaving now, she's upset because, guess what? He's taking his money. And that's what she was using him for. She was using him for fucking money. But he thought it was love. 
I'm going to go back to my wife. I'm going to clean myself up. I'm going to do the right thing. As anyone would do with common fucking sense. But guess what? She was full of shit. And now he's having to start over. Now he's looking for his real divine feeling. Because she, Spirit says she only said that because she seen him happy. And he did meet someone. I don't know if it was someone from his past. Spirit say he was messing with someone on the side. Maybe a mistress or whatever. But he was happy with that person, guys. And this lady basically fucked him out of it. Because she seen... I'm not going to call her divine feminine. The bitch is a karmic. You know, she an ancient motherfucker. So she seen him happy, so she wanted to take his happiness. She never wanted him to be happy, and he didn't know that. He didn't realize that. She always wanted him to be in a lower vibration. She called him when he would gain weight. She would verbally abuse him. She will emotionally abuse him. Maybe it's two separate situations, but I'm getting another situation where the female is abusive to the male. This man done lost so much weight to where he don't even look like himself because he's trying to please this bitch. This is what I'm getting, guys. He love her. He's a good man. He have an old belief system. He didn't want to leave his kids. He come from a broken home. He come from a single parent mother. And he wanted his kids to have the best. But at the cost of his kids having the best, he's fucking miserable. Because the person he's really in love with is the divine feminine. But he had to cut this person off because of this bitch. Now he's finding out this bitch really ain't shit. He knew this bitch wasn't shit. Now, goddamn, you really ain't shit. You just, it's no stop button on the shit that you do. Divine Master, I'm going to tell you from my own mouth. You need to move on before you get an STD you can't get rid of. But Spirit is saying you've been stopped sex with her. Or when you would have sex with her, you would wear a condom because you couldn't trust her. That's a hell of a way to live, guys. <laughs> the kid is all in disarray. He have to raise the kids. He got to try to make this bitch do right. So he's really raising the goddamn... He really raising the mom and the fucking kids. This bitch got baby daddies. Guys, who the fuck am I, channel? I don't know who this message is for, but I just want to help somebody. He has to be the one to go buy the groceries. He has to be the one to try to cook and clean. This bitch says she going to work, but she been lost her job a good while ago. They fight all the fucking time. The relationship is very fucking toxic. Very fucking toxic. The only reason why he's staying because he have abandonment issues. And he's saying that he didn't have a father in the home. So he playing the father and the mama role. That ain't right, y'all. On one situation, out of the same situation, he caught her fucking in the house. He caught her sucking dick in the house. She was caught at work fucking. She was fucking in the restroom at work, giving head. Guys, I don't know the fuck I'm telling. He must be a real nasty bitch. This bitch was giving head in the motherfucking restroom at her job. Ain't no motherfucking sex that goddamn important. To risk your goddamn livelihood. They say the bitch work in the hospital, guys. I don't fucking know. She done fucked everybody in the hospital. What else, bitch? 
She's fucking young guys. They don't want her. She, her husband even caught her. The guys was taking pictures of her and she didn't even know. She had two dicks in her mouth at one time, guys. What the fuck? She said that wasn't her. That wasn't me you seen on that on that on that picture. She had guys to come shoot up their their family home. Her husband knew what was going on. They shot up the car. They shot up the house. And she's sitting there looking. And the three kids that they have, I think they have three or more. Was it? Thank God they wasn't downstairs because that was two story house. Because if the kids would have been downstairs, they would have been fucked. This woman is doing the most. She used to carry herself as a very classy woman, but she really wasn't classy. As soon as he married her, she changed. She just a hoe that don't have no fucks. No give a fuck. Guys, this is just crazy. I really hope this message helps someone. I really, really do. It's an intuitive reading, guys. It's with no cards. Spirit, say for me to pull a monology card. I'm going to pray for you guys, whoever this is. It's really fucked up. Spirit said his, his, the husband didn't even know she was that type of person. People was trying to tell him what type of person she was, but he didn't believe it because he never seen that type of person. This woman is very established. She has a degree, everything. I think she were, think she's a cop, a lady cop. Guys, I don't know who the fuck I'm channeling, or I'm channeling more than one person. Tell me in the comment box. Please tell me how it resonates with you guys. You want me to pull a monology card. This intuitive reading, I'm not even using material. Spirit says she's not going to stop. She's going to fuck around till she gets the worst disease ever. A time for healing. Spirit is telling her husband it's time to heal. It's time to get the fuck on and heal. And go find your divine feminine, the one that really loves you. Okay, divine masculine? I'm praying for you. Spirit say you done took a lot. You didn't push your divine feminine away for this bitch. And now you're saying you made the wrong choice because this bitch ain't shit. Never been shit and ain't gonna ever be shit. You have wasted your life with this woman. This is not love, guys. This is not love. This is not self-love. She's... She's abusing you guys. And you come from other women abusing you. But nobody will believe that. Because they think men don't get abused. Okay. It's time for a new start, Divine Masculine. Spirit is warning you. Start meditating, contemplating on what your next move is going to be. You have to balance spirituality and practicality. Stop playing with this bitch. Start getting on your knees and praying. Or oh, when wind is in your forecast, your divine feminine is waiting on you, divine masculine. But you have to apologize. You have to beg her forgiveness so that you're able to move forward. But first of all, you have to heal. Look at this. Bottom of the deck. A fiery comp... A fiery... Um, climax approaches. You want to have sex, passionate sex with your divine feminine. But you can't do that coming from this woman. This woman may have, is giving out diseases. You say you haven't slept with her, but you need to clean yourself up with an STD check and then come with paperwork to show your divine feminine. Because your divine feminine at this point don't trust you because of all the shit you have done to her. The, the, the swords you put in her back, the hurt you put her through. For this bitch right here, they wasn't shit. They even say that the divine feminine was telling you that this bitch wasn't shit. This bitch was even doing spell work on you to keep you with you. Sex, magic, all kind of shit. This bitch is crazy. 
This bitch ain't gonna kill herself. She uses that. She manipulates you to get what the fuck she wants. She uses